Today we will see some examples related to bar graph. A bar graph is shown below. This graph refers to the sale of apples made by a fruit seller from Monday to Saturday. Read the graph and answer the following questions. First question. 1. What is the scale of this bar graph? We observe that here the scale is 1 unit length is equal to 1 kg. Second question. On which day were the maximum number of apples sold? In the given bar graph, we observe that the bar on Thursday is the longest. So we can conclude that the highest sale of apples were made on Thursday. Third question. How many kilos of apples did the fruit merchant sell on Monday and Tuesday? Monday is marked by 9 unit lengths of a bar and Tuesday by 10 units. Here, we are given the scale 1 unit length is equal to 1 kg apples, which means 9 kgs of apples were sold on Monday and 10 kgs on Tuesday. To calculate the total sale made on Monday and Tuesday, we will add the total sale made on both days, which will result in 19 kgs. From this, we can infer that the fruit merchant sold 19 kgs of apples on Monday and Tuesday. Next example. Following table shows marks obtained by Arnav from class 6 to 10 in percentage. Draw a bar graph to represent the following information, choosing the scale of your choice. Step 1. On a piece of paper, draw two perpendicular lines, where line OX is a horizontal line and line OY is a vertical line. Step 2. Along the horizontal line, we will mark the class and along the vertical line, mark the corresponding marks. Step 3. Next, we will choose a suitable scale along the vertical line. Here, one unit length represents 10%. Therefore, we will choose the scale as one unit length is equal to 10%. Step 4. Next, we will find the length of the bars. For class 6, length of the bar will be 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6 units. In the same way, we can find the length of the bar for class 7, class 8, class 9 and class 10. Step 5. Now we will draw bars of uniform width for different classes at a uniform distance. For instance, for class 6, we will draw a bar of 6 unit length. Next, for class 7, we will draw a 7 unit length bar of same width, keeping uniform distance. Similarly, for class 8, we will draw a bar of 7 unit length. Now, can you tell how will we draw a bar for class 9? Think for a while. You are absolutely right. 7.5 means 7 full units and 0.5 units means 5 parts out of 10 parts of 1 unit. Therefore, for class 9, we will draw a bar of 7.5 unit length in this way. In the same way, we will draw a bar of 8 unit length for class 10. Thus, we have obtained a bar graph for the given information. Today we saw some examples related to bar graph. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to this.